Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Professor William Corder, and I am the instructor for this Cultural Geography 102, number 38635 in this spring 2024 semester that runs from February 25th at 4 p.m. through June 8th, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. in this 14-week semester format at Santa Ana College. Canvas, which is the operating thing that we're using here, uh, Canvas suggests using Chrome or Firefox rather than Safari, although I will tell you a deep, dark secret. I am actually using Safari at the moment, but they suggest you use Chrome and Firefox, so do what they tell you to do. They also suggest that you clear your cache to ensure the fluidity and the functioning of your system. If you don't know how to do that, YouTube has lots of videos on how to do it. I would log the Canvas phone number into my phone if I was you. That phone number is 844-612-7428. Uh, it's logged into my phone because they are not only very helpful, but they are available to you free of charge 24-7 because you are a student at Santa Ana College. So before I tell you how we're going to operate with this class and go through a few things, I want to tell you a quick little story. So I sometimes work out the y at the YMCA near my house. And I sometimes work out with a guy named Gabe, G-A-B-E, Gabe, okay, Gabriel, in other words. And when he found out that I'm a geography instructor, he said to me, I never realized how important geography was until I got sent to Vietnam. So he's a Vietnam veteran, and he's a bit older than me. And you can imagine the reason why that would be. It's because when you are fighting in a war, you need to understand coordinates and latitude and longitude and meteorology and climatology. You have to have understanding of topography. You have to under have an understanding of vegetation, what people eat, what their language is, culture, and all those sorts of things. So what I'm telling you is this. Geography really is a kind of cross-disciplinary subject. Um, and you can use it for lots of things. And I hope through time that you will indeed do that with the information and the knowledge that you gain from taking this class. So here's what you want to do. You want to type in sac.edu, like S-A-C dot E-D-U, like you see up here. When you do that, either this page or a similar page is going to show up. Then what you do is you click on Canvas right here. And when you do, this is going to bring us to this bronze log into Canvas banner and then what you do is you click on that and it will allow you to input your information when you input your information what's going to show up is this or something very similar to this this is mine but this is called your canvas dashboard and you probably don't have every single class i'm teaching this semester but you probably have this one otherwise you wouldn't be listening to this video i assume so here it is geography 102 number 38635 you click on that and this will bring you to your geography homepage. For this particular class hey there you go there's the taj mahal and my daughter with a bunch of people that we met at the taj mahal very cool okay so click on start here it's a good place to go when it says start here to go where it says start here i would read through all of this if i was you just gives you a quick introduction come back over here to the home page and i will tell you this that the first week of this semester so the first week that we are going to be in school, okay? Um, you must complete the graded assignments in module one. They're due by March 2nd, Saturday, March 2nd at 11.59 p.m. If you don't complete them, I'm required to drop you by both the college and the state of California, okay? So one of these things is a syllabus quiz. So let's go over here and click on the tab for syllabus. And you're going to see that the syllabus is going to auto open. You can see right up here at the top, it says deadlines matter. They do. There are no makeups, retakes, or redos on anything in this class. And when something closes, that's it. It's done. So again, you have three things that you need to get done the first week. Please get those things done so we don't have a hassle with this. So if you look, this is the syllabus. I would read through the whole thing. Here's the no-show information. The deadlines matter again. Cultural geography, Canvas contact info with that phone number I gave you. Disclaimer. The instructor reserves the right to modify this syllabus slash course overview if needed. The instructor is guess who? Raise your hand if you can guess who that is. That's right. It's me. I am the instructor. Um, so things can happen. Let's hope nothing happens. But, you know, if something happens, just be flexible. Uh, here's information on contacting me, course name, description, format, textbook. There is a textbook in this class, but you don't have to buy it. It's free of charge. So that's kind of a good thing, and it's attached in each one of the modules where you have anything that has to do with it. 
course placement and transferability, DSPS statement. If you're a DSPS student, please get that to me as quickly as possible you're, so I can accommodate you appropriately. Student learning outcomes, course objectives, course goals, course topics, reading. Um, notice there's three sections in this class, section one, section two, section three. Each one ends with an exam on that particular section. Uh, attendance, chat GPT and other AI warning. Look, just don't use chat GPT or any other AI, all right? If you do and I catch you, and I probably will because there's some things built in to fish that out a little bit. Um, it, if I catch you, I'm required to file a Maxient report, which is a hassle for me, and it's really terrible for you. So just don't do it, and we won't have to hassle with it. Course grading, there's three 100-point multiple choice exams, 10 chapter reading quizzes, that's the free textbook, nine discussion boards, and a syllabus quiz. Grades are assigned on a percentage basis as follows. So it's a straight scale. Notice that. Also notice no exams will be dropped. The syllabus quiz will not be dropped. No chapter reading quiz will be dropped. The discussion boards are not going to be dropped. No grade assignments will be dropped, period. A zero will be assigned for all exams, quizzes, or discussion boards that are not completed, or at least, you know, if you don't do, do them at all. Um, there are no makeups, retakes, or redos on any graded assignment, quiz, or exam. Once a graded assignment uh, closes, it cannot be reopened and no late work is accepted. So this is the schedule for the semester. Take a look at that. Canvas course site, technical support, required technology, academic honesty, uh, assignments in Canvas, important dates, miscellaneous, and then Title IX. Okay. If we continue to scroll through here, there's also something called Suggestions for Successful Completion of Geography. This is also part of that syllabus quiz, so make sure you read through those 12 bullet points. Course description, required materials. You know, as I said, the only required material is, is the textbook, but it's free and it's attached. Um, there's some stuff about me emailing me. Please make sure that you read this stuff about emailing me before you email me. Um, instructor bio, student learning outcomes, and so on. Let's go over here to home. All right, and I'm going to go straight over here to the modules. This is where the class really starts is with the modules. All right, scroll down here and you see course information start here. I would read through these things. Some of the stuff is redundant, but it only takes a few minutes to read through it resources and so on, then module one. So what we're gonna do is there are 14 modules in this class, one module for each week. So each week we complete a module. So here's module one, there's module two, module three, module four, module five is a test. So that's the end of the first section. Module six, module seven, module eight, module nine is an exam. So that's the end of the second section, so on till we get to 14. But let's go back up here to the first module because this is where everything begins to happen for you. So. First, let me notice, let me notice, let me show you this. Every graded assignment is indented one place. And I told you there are three graded assignments that you need to get done this first week. The syllabus and suggestions for successful completion of geography. It's not easy to say. By the way, this is all captioned professionally as all the videos are captioned either professionally or by me. So you can be reading this simultaneously. Uh, the captions are really good. I've noticed a few places where at the end of one of the lessons or one of the lectures or something, YouTube has messed it up a little bit, but they aren't YouTube uh, captions. Their professional captions are from me. Um, discussion board and then the chapter one thinking geographically and then chapter two geographic tools and methods textbook reading quiz. So those are the three things you have to get done this week. Let's start by going up here to module one introduction. If we click on that you will see that there's some information here about the module. There I am uh, acting a bit like a wild man at LAX but go ahead and watch that. Then I would click next over here. It will bring you to the next thing, which is the textbook versus a professor. So this tells you something about that free textbook and, you know, the overlap and not overlap between my lectures and that. Uh, this is the syllabus quiz. So what you have to do is, as I said, read through the syllabus and that other thing with the 12 bullet points. And once you've done that, I would probably have it open while I do this because I can't stop you from doing that. Make sure you read through uh, the directions and then take the syllabus quiz. You can see it's open from 4 p.m. on February 25th to uh, 11.59 p.m. on March 2nd. Click Next right here. That will bring you to the first of our discussion boards. So read through the information on this. It'll tell you what you're supposed to do. Then if you've never done a discussion board before, you click where it says Reply, and then you type in your reply, blah, 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 blah. And then you come down here where it says Post Reply. And once you do that, you will see other people's posts, provided you're not the first person posting. And of course, you do have to respond to somebody else also. Get out of that. Click Next. And it says Chapter 1, Thinking Geographically, and then the Chapter 2, you can see what it says. So if we click on this, this is going to bring us to that free textbook. 
And you can see it says read book, click on that. And then you can see contents and main body. And then here's the chapters. This is the way you get to it. So you need to click on each one of these and then read them. Come back over here though. And you can see that out of those first two chapters, what you need to get out of them in order to take the quiz successfully is this. You need to get these concepts and objectives and this terminology. And you get them out of reading those two chapters, all right? Then click next down here and it brings you to the quiz itself. There it is, okay? And again, there's the link here to get over to the textbook. This explains how to get to each one of those chapters. It's all encompassing, all in there, all the description you need is there, I'm sure. Now, let me show you a couple other things. So, for the first module, uh, you can see it says Cultural Geography Section 1, Module 1, Terms and Concepts. These are the terms and concepts you need to get out of my lectures, which begin at Cultural Geography and then go down through the bottom of that module. Hey, you can see right here, Cultural Geography Section 1, Module 2, Terms and Concepts. And then you need to get out of those lectures that information. Okay, now let me show you what it looks like with Module 1. Module 1, there it is opening up. This is what you need to get out of Module 1, out of my lectures. So this is not out of the textbook. This is out of my lectures. All right? Where do you get the lectures? Well, they're the videos that follow. So each one of the pages that follows. I know I have to keep scrolling up. Sorry, that's the way it is. So it says Cultural Geography right there. Click on that, and there's a video. And you click on it, and you watch the video. And then you go to the next one, and you watch the next one. And this is where you're getting this terminology from. Okay, and then the same thing right here. Ge geographic grid, as I said, you know, geographic grid, important thing, and so on. Okay, and that's where you're going to get the information for the terminology that you're going to need to be able to take the exam that you just saw a moment ago is for section one in module five. Okay. And each one of these works exactly the same way. All right. Now, let me just tell you a little something about the discussion boards really quickly. So the discussion board topics are not necessarily always just straight ahead ge geography topics. Some of them are. Um, although almost anything can be cons construed as geography, but they're really meant to represent topics that might arise organically in a face-to-face -face class or a live class. And they have some relation to geographic topics, um, but they might be distantly related in some cases. Nevertheless, they're the kinds of things that come up in college classrooms and in illicit discussion. So that's the way we're going to roll. All right. So let me ask you this. Would you like some extra credit already? I can give you five extra credit points on your section one exam, the thing that we saw in, in module five. Here's what you do to get them. Okay. Email me or message me through Canvas with the name of the guy from the YMCA, that Vietnam veteran that I work out with sometimes that I spoke about at the beginning of this video. All right. And what you do is this. You email me and in the subject box, you put this class geography 102 number 38635 and his name. And then in the body of the email, you put your name. This has to reach me by 1159 p.m. on Saturday, March 2nd in order to receive those points. Hey, raise your hand if you want those points. Good. All right, now let me tell you something. There are multiple other places throughout the class where there are basically free extra credit points like that. There's no extra credit at the end of the class where you do some big project for me. Nope. The way it works is you just pay attention throughout and you're going to get extra credit just like that. Just like you're going to get this one because I assume you listen to it. And if you look at the bottom of that email, the welcome email that this particular video is attached to, there is also on that extra credit. That's right. So just pay attention, read my emails thoroughly and watch as you go along throughout the semester and you're going to see it embedded in various things and in emails and all the rest of it. All right, let's have a great spring 2024. Glad to have you along for the ride.